Hi, I'm Frances Schefter with Schefter Law PA. Today I want to talk to you about IEP services during COVID. The biggest question I've been getting now is, can the schools delay things because of COVID? And the answer is no, absolutely not. The United States Department of Education, Office of Special Education, actually issued a document on September 28th, 2020, to provide the public with clarity regarding the existing requirements under the law. And it clearly states that the timelines are not waived. What does that mean for you as a parent? Do not let the schools use COVID as an excuse to not complete initial evaluations, annual IEP meetings, or triannual reviews. Initial evaluations must be completed within 60 days of receiving parental consent. This does not mean within 60 days of when school returns to in-person instruction. It means 60 days from when you sign the consent form. If the school refuses to provide you a consent form or if they just delay sending you one, send a letter stating that you are providing consent for the initial evaluation and that you expect it to be com completed within 60 days of the date of the letter. CC the principal and the Office of Special Education and even the legal department. If the school gives any pushback at all, request an individual education evaluation, also known as an IEE. If the school says no to that, point out that the law requires them to either issue an authorization or request a hearing to prove why their own evaluation is appropriate. This is also true for reevaluations. IDEA requires that reevaluations occur at least once every three years, unless the full IEP team agrees that one is unnecessary. A parent should never re agree that a reevaluation is unnecessary. An appropriate IEP cannot be developed without current data on academic or adaptive levels. I almost always request full academic testing every three years to assist with educational planning. The school might try to say observations and classworks are enough, but you do not have to agree. If the school gives you any pushback, request an IEE. There's also no excuse to, have an I to not have an IEP meeting every year. There's Zoom, Google Meets, Microsoft Teams, the schools can hold them that way. And at the IEP meeting, you should be discussing your distant learning plan and asking for any additional supports that might be necessary. If your school gives giving you any pushback or just refusing to comply with the laws, contact me at 301-605-7303 to discuss how I can help. Thank you.